All right. In this reaction, what we're trying to do is take this group right here and switch it out with this alcohol group, which is exactly why at the end you'll see that we have our alcohol group in. And what's not shown is what we'd also have is our side product being that CF3 off of that carbonyl and ultimately what this would be is just they removed leaving group which was one semester so how does this end up happening the way that this ends up occurring is that we will start with having our carbonyl that's going to get attacked protonated so this guy right here will want to protonate him so he's less stable and that's more susceptible to a nucleophilic attack so the way that this would end up happening is that we use that alcohol and we use it as a source of a proton such that I could draw that guy in. We'll have our alcohol. Excuse me. This guy's electrons will come in. Will come in steal this proton off and send those electrons back to oxygen. Now from here, what we're going to end up have happening is that nucleophilic attack I was talking about. So first step is our proton transfer. Second step is a nucleophilic attack. Because like I mentioned before, this is our ideal leaving group and we want to be able to kick that guy out. So our alcohol will come in, it'll attack at that carbonyl location and kick up that, those pi electrons into that oxygen. That's what ends up creating this funky tetrahedral hydro structure here. Now what we want to do is make that alcohol group more stable and that leaving group less stable. The way we can do that is a series of proton transfers. So the first one we'll do is to make that alcohol group more stable. So you can see that it's losing that proton. Now it's not an alcohol anymore. We've just got a carbon, oxygen carbon bond there. And then what we want to do is make that side group less stable. So what we're doing is we're adding a proton to, to decrease its stability. So then what's going to end up happening from here is we're going to have a pi bond form and a loss of leaving group in order to kick out that bad leaving group. And then we can ultimately end up making that pi bond that's very reminiscent of what we're going to see up here. Finally, in order to make that more stable, we'll have a proton transfer and that will result in the final product you see here. Thank you.